Hello friends, welcome back to the Selenium Tutorials. In this tutorial, we would be learning how to execute Selenium scripts on Windows 10 on its Edge browser. So without wasting any time, we'll start doing that. So for achieving our goal to execute the script on uh, the Edge driver, we will need the Edge driver exe file, which we'll find it from this website. Make a note of it. It's developer.microsoft.com en us Microsoft Edge tools web driver. This is the place from where you'd be able to download the edge driver exe file which we will need to execute our scripts on this browser so we'll go on to the web page which i just mentioned so this is the place from where you would be able to download if you would see on the right hand side you have this downloads and below it you have a number of links associated to releases now you have to download the appropriate edge driver exe file now it is showing multiple releases 16299150063 now depending on the release on your the release version on your windows 10 you have to download the edge driver exe file so we'll check how to find out the appropriate really like which uh, uh, selenium edge driver we should be downloading so what we'll do is like uh, i'm just clicking on this windows button here here i am typing settings and here on the top option you get this setting trusted microsoft microsoft store app i click over there uh, another window opens i go to system and here the last option about i click on about and i am seeing a window over here which is uh, uh, showing me details of my system if i would just scroll towards the bottom when i scroll towards the bottom i get this thing os build and here it is showing os os build as 16299.15 so this is the version i should be downloading this version of edge driver on my system to successfully execute selenium scripts on the edge browser so once again i'll go back to the website and here I could see it is 16299 and here it is 16299 so I would be downloading this edge driver to download it just click it and if you would see the download will start and in fact the download has completed and the download uh, downloaded file would be available in your downloads folder so I'll go to my downloads folder here I could see this exe file what I'll do I'll just copy it and place it somewhere else yeah, you could just keep it here itself and give a reference to this path which I'll show in few minutes but what I'm doing like I'm just keeping it at another location I have this uh, f drive under which I have created a folder called edge driver and here is the place where I am keeping the Microsoft web driver exe file it is up to you anywhere on your system uh, you could place this uh, Microsoft web driver exe file so this one so we'll make a note of this path where the web driver microsoft's edge driver has been saved so i'll just copy this location and then i'll just paste it in my notepad because i'll be needing this location for referencing it to it from the script so this is the location where it has been placed now we'll go to the editor and write the script to get the execution done on the edge driver so this is my java project it has been already been configured with the latest version of the jar files uh, towards the end of the tutorial i would just do a revision like how to configure the java project with the selenium jar files which we'll do it at the end for now this project is ready for my reference what i'll do is like here i'll right click create a class i'll give any name i'll give the name as edge test and I'll select this option public static void means spring args and click on finish button so this is available with us and here is the place where we would be writing the code to get the execution on the edge driver so things things are most of the things are very common like uh, what we'll do is like create an object of the web driver we need to execute on the internet explorer don't, uh, don't forget that edge driver is the actual internet explorer so it would be web driver obj 
new internet explorer you are getting some errors but don't worry about these errors just focus your mouse onto it and create on click on import web driver over here and your click on internet import internet explorer driver so these errors would vanish now we have stored the edge driver and we need to make a reference to the edge driver without making a reference we'll get an error first we'll see what kind of an error we'll get if we'll directly try to execute without making a reference to the edge driver so if i write over here obj dot get and any website will take http www dot google dot com i just say this if i try to execute this script let's see what happens so we'll just execute it i do a right click run as java application you can see at the bottom on the console here it is showing the path to the driver executable must be set now since we have not set the path to the edge driver which we downloaded and store it on a system it is throwing this error so to avoid this error what i'll do is like i'll write this line of code which is system dot set property here it would be it takes two parameters both are strings the value is the location of the edge driver the second parameter is the location of the edge driver and the first parameter it goes like this i'll just show you it is this web driver dot ie dot driver so this syntax is common over here and here is the location of the edge driver so the location is we have already made a note of it so this is the location i'm just copying this location pasting it over here don't forget like eclipse single slash won't be understood it requires two slashes and don't forget to write the entire name of the exe file which is here which is microsoft web driver exactly how it is over here so it is i c r o s o f t web driver and don't forget the extension as dot exe if you not mention this this will give an error so we have done the settings now when we execute this script after making the system dot set property let's see what happens so we'll re execute the script to a right click run as java application now when i do this if you see at the bottom something is happening the edge driver has been launched and we are at google.com which means the script is working absolutely fine and we have successfully configured edge driver with the selenium and we are in a position to execute our selenium scripts on edge driver this was about the configuration of uh, edge driver with uh, selenium so we have achieved that now we'll just do a small quick revision of how to create a java project and how to configure the selenium jar files with the java project so it will not take much time we'll just start doing that so what we'll do is we'll close this window we'll create a fresh new java project which is goes like file new i'll select java project any project name test selenium edge whatever suitable project name you could give over here and just uh, do not make any changes over here and just click on finish so if you would see this project is ready over here now this project should be configured with the selenium jar file selenium would not work without the configuration of the jar file so this project which we have created should be configured with the selenium jar file the selenium jar files you would be able to get from this website here it goes 
selenihq.org slash downloads on this page if you just scroll down here you'll get the java bindings like it is java current version is 3.10 if you click on this download button then the jar files would get downloaded it would be in a zip format i had already downloaded this and here they are available with me what i'll do is like uh, i'll not use this path the downloads part what i have done is like i have created a copy of it i've just copied it and placed it in this folder f selenium 3.10 if you go in this folder here are the files so make a note of these files like these are the files within libs like there are some files these are the jar files and outside there are a couple of jar files client combine and client combine sources so to configure these jar files with our newly created project what we'll do is like we'll right click on our project go to build path configure build path here go to add external jars and here i should navigate to the location where i have stored my jar file so i am at this location if you are not directly prompted to this location you could just uh, provide the location over here it would navigate to the desired location select the jar file these are the jar files i click on open once again i click on add external jars this time i go to the lips folder do a control a and click on open so i have configured all the jar files with the new java project i click on apply apply and close and my project is now ready so uh, my project is ready now if i just expand this project i get this thing called reference libraries and all the libraries which we have referenced are available over here now here i could create a class and write my selenium code to get my execution done so what i'll do quickly create a new class test one i am giving the name public static volume and selecting i am clicking on finish button what i'll do is like i'll not waste time by rewriting the code the code we have already available with us in the previous project so i'll be just copying that thing so what i'll do is like the lines i'm just copying it over here and pasting it over here so this is done and now i'll just execute this we can execute by right clicking and doing a uh, run as java application or you could just click on this green button over here so when i click this green button the execution should start so the execution has started it has launched the browser and has navigated to google so this was it about the quick revision about how to configure your selenium web driver jar files with the java project so we have learned how to configure and execute scripts on edge driver and we did a revision of how to configure selenium jar files with a new java project so hope you found this tutorial helpful i'll see you in my next tutorial thanks for joining bye